In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome technique where you can change the color of the streetlights right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have some footage on your timeline, we can begin with this process. And in my example, I have this footage that I shot in Warsaw in Poland. There is a tram coming towards the camera and there are some really cool strip lighting within this scene. And we're going to change all of those lights. So in order to begin with this process, we first need to begin by creating a brand new adjustment layer. So we'll go new item, adjustment layer. Press OK and we'll drag this onto video layer 2 with the video being on video layer 1. Now we'll go up to opacity and select the pen tool or the free draw bezier tool. And we're just going to draw a mask around the street light on the right of the frame. So we're just going to draw a mask perfectly around them. We'll go into effects. And inside of effects, we'll search for tint. Drop tint on to the adjustment layer and then we'll map the white to a specific color of your choice. Now in my example, I'm going to select blue. Now we'll go up to mask one and we'll increase the mask feather all the way up to around 260. And as you can see, all of those lights have suddenly turned blue. Now that is one way to do this effect. I'm going to show you a different way to do this effect. So we're going to pull the adjustment layer up to video layer three and then holding option on your keyboard, we'll select video layer one and drag the video up to video layer two. And that should make a perfect copy of the video. Now with video layer two selected, we'll go ahead and select the ellipse mask tool. So that is the circle mask tool. And we'll drag the circle mask to the front of the tram so we can change the color of the headlights. Now we want to go ahead and we want to track the movement of the tram. So press the play button and Premiere Pro will follow the movement. It will track the movement of the tram and it will update the keyframe positions to animate the mask along with the movement of the shot. Now, once you've done that, you just want to play through the video and make sure that the mask is perfectly following the headlights of the tram. And if they are, then you just want to go into effects, search for RGB curves and we'll drop curves onto video layer two. Now inside of curves, we can adjust the RGB channels. That is the red, green, and blue channels separately. So in RGB curves, I'm going to increase the midtones in the reds. I'm going to decrease the midtones in the master channel. And then I'm just going to go down to the blue channel and we'll increase the midtones in the blue. Now we'll go up into mask one and we'll pull up the mask feather. And as you can see, if we play this back, we've got this really awesome purple light coming from the front of the tram. So moving forward, we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on the floor. So we're going to create a brand new adjustment layer. So we'll go into project BF8 and we'll drag adjustment layer onto video layer four. Now we'll zoom out a little bit by pressing the fit button and selecting 50%. We'll go to opacity and select the rectangle mask tool. Now we're just going to draw a rectangle mask around the bottom part of our frame. So I'm just going to select all of the ground. We'll go into effects find RGB curves and we're going to go into RGB curves again and adjust the curves to manipulate the floor. So we'll increase the blues, increase the reds, decrease the greens a little. And as you can see, if I pull up the feather in mask one, we've got this really awesome purple floor. Now, if we keep going through this process of creating brand new adjustment layers for each individual aspect of the frame, creating masks around a specific area. So you've got the floor, street lights, tram, sky. If you separate each individual area to a separate adjustment layer and throw RGB curves, adjust the colors and add some feathering using the mask feather in mask one, then you should create this really awesome colorful light effect on your footage. So the next time you want to manipulate the colors and create a really interesting and dynamic and colorful video, then go ahead and use this technique right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro to do this. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.